Hi, everybody. April 17, 2019, for those who have asked what law gives our military the right to experiment on us, it is Public Law 10585, National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal 1998. It is Section 1078, Restrictions on the Use of Human Subjects for Testing of Chemical or Biological Agents. I'm just going to read it, make a few comments. Here we go. Prohibited activities the Secretary of Defense may not conduct directly or by contract, contracting out to private contractors to do their experiments, any test or experiment involving the use of a chemical or biological agent on a civilian population, or any other testing of a chemical agent or biological agent on human subjects. Exceptions. Exception, subject to subsection C, D, E, the, prohibit, uh, the prohibition in subsection A, which is right here, you can't do experiments on human beings. The exception is it does not apply to a test or experiment carried out for any of the following purposes, any peaceful purpose, that is related to a medical, therapeutic, pharmaceutical, agricultural, industrial, or research activity. Wow. Why bother making the law? If you have given yourself the exception to do any kind of experiment that you want under those categories, which is, well, any experiment you want. Or, um, any purpose that is directly related to protection against toxic chemicals or biological weapons and agents. So, they say they're prohibited, but an exception is they can experiment on us with biological or chemical weapons because it would be directly related to the protection when they want to see how a biological or a chemical weapon affects the population, they experiment on the population, then collect the data when the population gets sick. Or for any enforcement purpose, including any purpose related to riot control. So what are these exceptions subject to? They are subject to informed consent, which is required. The Secretary of Defense may conduct a test or experiment described in subsection B only, and subsection B are the exceptions, only if informed consent to the testing was obtained from each individual, each human subject, in advance of the testing and prior notice has to be given to Congress no later than 30 days after the date of final approval within the Department of Defense of plans for any experiment or study to be conducted by the Department of Defense, whether it is directly the Department of Defense doing the experiment or under contract, any private contractor they contract with, involving the use of human subjects and uh, for the testing of chemical or biological agents, yada, yada, yada. And the experiment then cannot start until that 30-day period is over. In the report or notification to Congress, they must detail the experiment. Biological agent defined. Biological agent means any microorganism, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, ricochet or protozoa pathogens or infectious substance or any naturally occurring bioengineered or synthesized component of any such microorganism, pathogen, or infectious sub substance, uh, whatever its origin, that is capable of causing death, disease, or other biological malfunction in the human, animal, a plant, or living organism or the deterioration of food, water, equipment, supplies, or materials, 
or any other deleterious alteration of the environment. Well, all of what I just read is what we are living now. Humans, plants, living organisms are dying. Water, food, uh, our supplies, when we go buy them, equipment, every oh, or materials, everything is loaded with poisons. Not just food. Have you noticed that the uh, plastic bags that they use to put your food in that you buy at a supermarket, have you noticed how toxic those bags smell? Have you noticed when you buy clothing and it stinks? Brand new and it stinks. You buy t-shirts and I'm kind of obsessive with ironing. If I iron a t-shirt that is new and has not been washed yet, it let the heat of it lets off a very toxic smell. But of course our toiletries, everything is loaded with poisons. Now, considering that those exceptions are subject to notification to Congress and our informed consent, please understand this. The law means nothing. It means nothing. It is legislation that is passed for the quote-unquote elite to protect themselves and to continue to foster this delusion that we actually live in a country ruled by law. We don't. Our government is a criminal enterprise and when you have criminals who rule you, they do whatever they want. Doesn't matter what is put on paper. The words mean nothing. So, they have not given us informed consent of the geoengineering, the genetically modified organisms that have taken over our food. We never gave informed consent for them to put chloride or um, chlorine or fluoride in our water. So what does this mean here? Well, I guess they drafted this and passed this legislation. I guess, well, if some human being wants to take them to court based on this, um, well, at this point, it doesn't matter because it'll just be a national secret, national security secret, sorry, case dismissed. Um, it's a joke. Our country is a joke. Our government is a joke. Everything's a joke. Not a funny joke. It's a rather dangerous joke, but it's just um, a farce. It's absurd. It's a farce. It's become very, very obvious, and that's why so many of us are really feeling the the madness of it all, when it becomes so obvious, and then you're surrounded by people who are not seeing what is very obvious, worse, seeing it and not caring, that drives the same person to have to spend an awful lot of energy maintaining their sanity. But this is the law, which it, it amounts to nothing. It's just hollow words, and that's what legislation is. It's unfortunate because a lot of people still, even awake, believe that we still have a legal system that has not been taken over. It has been taken over. Um, our legal system, I'll read comments from people saying, we need good lawyers. No, we don't, actually, <laughs> because it sorry the legal system's gone we had we had certainly the uh, the structure in place for a good legal system and it it did you know it did protect the ordinary citizen for a while but that time has passed and we're not going backwards. We can't go backwards when everybody is still, uh, not everybody, obviously, 
Um, but the majority is still stuck in the matrix, and that includes the majority of, of people who are quote unquote awake. Um, now, I got a comment from a subscriber underneath my video that I posted on this um, bill that was introduced in Texas the vaccine bill that healthcare workers may not vaccinate unless there are legitimate safety studies and I said rally behind the state senator his name Bob Hall he's the only one who sponsored the bill call those in your state government in Texas and tell your senators that are not Bob Hall to sponsor this bill you know help to get it passed do whatever it is that you can and I got this comment from a subscriber who said um, the system is corrupt that I've said that that um, the only thing that will work is non-compliance disobedience so why am I saying to people rally behind this, try to get it passed? Because, well, number one, the system is corrupt because of our inaction. Because we did nothing. Now, when I say that, please understand, I'm not talking about you specifically. I don't know you. I, I do know that we got here because of well it's kinda like we're in a dance here with these sick uh, psychopathic elitists many of us have been so dumbed down and rendered powerless to believe that we've got no power we can't do anything we you know this is well when you have that kind of psyche which an awful lot of Americans do have that kind of psyche and they've allowed themselves to sit and do nothing day after day after day after day for decades. How do we get to such a dark place, this reality, which is a friggin' nightmare, when this nightmare was not so dark? Not too long ago. When I say not too long ago, I don't mean last year, but 60 years of my life, wow, darkness has really... <laughs> Um, well, descended upon us. And 60 years is nothing. It's a short period of time. So how did we get here? We allowed. We consented. Our silence is consent. Our inaction is go ahead. Do whatever you want. So we are part of this dynamic here. And, and we have to get, you know, um, healthy enough to pull ourselves out of this dynamic but to think that suddenly people are going to say okay enough I do not comply um, I will not obey is that gonna happen overnight no but we've got children to consider they are getting destroyed on a daily basis so when you have a bill in a state uh, legislature that could protect children, then you do everything that you can. Your choice is to just sit back and do nothing while talking about, hey, we've got to just not comply and, and uh, not obey. Well, that is true. But if that's the only action, and sometimes no action is an action, um, if that's the only thing that you're going to be doing, then you're, you're not going to be helping trying to protect these children. So while you understand how thoroughly corrupt the system is, on a daily basis we do whatever it is that we can to protect children 
the elderly, the vulnerable, the four legged all of that. We protect each other within this corrupt system. I hope I made myself clear. Um, now everything has, has gotten so out of control that you know, it's we have all the evidence that we need to prove that the vaccines are uh, these toxic shots that are destroying people's health, the geoengineering, the spraying of chemicals and, and heavy metals, and no, uh, no doubt biologicals, but also fungi. Why do you see all the trees dying? You know, <laughs> well, they're spraying fungi. And that's why the majority of trees now have fungal disease. Here, fungi. Um, and are dying. Anyway, sorry for going on. Um, we don't have legal recourse. You know, it's... Um, the, the other point that I wanted to make is I have said repeatedly, we can't reach those in Washington, D.C. We can't reach those crazy um, puppets like Hillary Clinton and, and Trump and all of them. What, who we can reach is within our own communities. The, the town councils, uh, town council members, and our state legislatures. That's, that's where the work needs to be done in your own community. So the Texas bill, that's within Texas. That's saving the children in Texas. And yes, other people, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, but I, I'm concerned about the vulnerable. Those who are not vulnerable, you have the right to make your choice. Those who have that right, and children do not, Adults, go ahead. Line up. Get that toxic shot and destroy your health. Okay. You have that right. But when children have no rights, that's when we all need to uh, get involved and do everything that we can to protect them. But this is a local, a local thing. So it's the job of the local people to take the action. Sitting back and doing nothing. You are complicit with each child that gets injured by a vaccine. So, while it sounds contradictory because I say the system is completely corrupt and that you've got to pull yourself from the system, it does not mean pulling yourself from everything that could possibly protect um, those who are most vulnerable, chavels.